details this morning in a deadly fire that left a young girl dead and her twin sister in the hospital. We've learned there's now been an arrest in this case. According to Fulton County jail records, a suspect is behind bars waiting to appear in court later this morning. Online documents show the suspect is charged with arson and felony murder. Investigators say the fire happened at an apartment complex on Washington Road in East Point on Wednesday. We're told several families have been displaced because of the damage from that fire. The Red Cross is assisting. Right now, a mother is facing charges at a deadly fire that happened the day before Thanksgiving. It happened at an East Point apartment complex. The fire killing a four year old little girl and sending her twin sister to the hospital with serious burns. Police arrested the girl's mother and tonight she is accused of setting that fire on purpose. Want to go live now to 11 Alive's Dawn White. She's in East Point with reaction from neighbors, including the man who risked his life to save one of those little girls. Dawn. Well, Joe, this building behind me, you can see it is a total loss. And the people that lived here, they say that they are left with nothing. Take a look at this woman. This is 27 year old Nicole Ashley Jackson. She is behind bars at this hour, charged with murder, attempted murder, criminal attempt to commit felony and arson. She also faces two counts of first degree cruelty to children. The fire tore through the Brookfield apartments along Washington Road on Wednesday. Seven families are now displaced and crews found the body of one of the four year old twins inside the apartment. Ricardo Tolbert, known as Uncle Top in the complex, risked his own life to rescue the other twin, as well as knock on doors, saving dozens of other people. We spoke with Tolbert soon after the fire happened, and now that Jackson has been charged, he can't believe tonight his neighbor is now accused of these crimes. Angry and disappointed. That was, that was the first thing. Why would she do that? And, you know, at first I called myself being angry. I said, well, I can't be angry at her. The only thing I can do is pray for her at this point in time, so... I just wish that the grandparents could come over and so I can, you know, get in touch with them and see the baby because I don't want all I want to do is know how the baby doing. <laughs> Investigators have scheduled a press conference on Monday coming up at 11. A lot more from some of the people who live here on their interactions with that mother. Hmm. Joe and that one girl still dealing with the recovery of those serious burns. Dawn we will be keeping her in our prayers. East Point authorities now reveal a fire was, they say, a disguise to a heartbreaking crime. A mother reportedly tried hiding her daughter's murder by setting their home on fire just a day before Thanksgiving. And we're learning more about the child that survived. Atlanta News First's Bridget Spencer is live at the Brookfield Apartments on Washington Road with the new developments. Bridget. Yeah, that is correct. We are learning a lot of new information. East Point officials provided us an update this morning. They say the fire here at the Brookfield Apartments, that was an attempt to conceal a crime. And the mother, 27-year-old Nicole Jackson, she confessed that she started the fire to cover up another crime. A tragedy the day before Thanksgiving, now a murder investigation. We noticed heavy smoke and fire proceeding from the back of the unit. Last Wednesday, fire crews found a four-year-old girl inside an upstairs bedroom dead. Her twin sister still alive, but suffering from burns to her face, hands, and arms. Mom, however, was missing. We put a missing person uh, bolo out for the mother. We found the mother the following day on 4th Industrial Boulevard. When police found the mother, Nicole Jackson, on the street the next day, they say she confessed to the fire and more. We put a missing person uh, bolo out for the mother. We found the mother the following day on 4th Industrial Boulevard. Details of how the child died were not provided, but no bond was set for Jackson, and the Fulton County District Attorney's Office says they intend to keep it that way. Those warrants are murder, felony murder, criminal attempt to commit murder, two counts of cruelty to children in the first degree. Fire officials say this case is affecting many of them emotionally, enough to call in grief counselors for any who need them. They intend to do all they can to seek justice for the little girls. We have a, a saying where whenever we go in, we're trying to save a life. And in this situation, it greatly affected personnel. And also investigators say that the state fire marshal brought in a dog that detected accelerant inside that unit. So Chief Thornton says that was a big red flag for them here. Now, as far as that surviving child, she is recovering right now and she is in the care of her grandmother. We're live from Washington Road. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First.